Hey guys, welcome to the first video of 2021, and we're doing another video about Ariel, as we haven't really made a video about that in a few months. And in the most previous video that I did about Ariel, I only showed the variant styles for the purple Skull Trooper and the pink Skull Trooper, but today I'll be showing you guys how to get variants for every single type of skin in the entire game. I'll also be showing you guys all the unreleased skins that are currently supported by Ariel, and all the ones that you can use with their variants as well. Make sure you subscribe as we are on our road to 40,000 subscribers and we will be doing another battle pass giveaway when we hit 40,000 subscribers so hopefully we can do that by the end of season 5. And make sure you guys like the video, let's try to hit 200 likes on this video and start the video. So of course the first step to get this lobby bot is to join our discord server, the link is in the description. A lot of you guys are probably already in the server so you, most of you guys will not need to worry about that. So once you're in the server, you just want to go on the side and click on create aerial. And this is the channel where you can create an aerial bot. It will not work in any of the other cha channels. So you're going to go down over here to the text area and you're going to type in a.start. And then you're just going to press enter. And you want to make sure that you have your DMs on if you have them disabled. So make sure that this is checked and says yes. And then you're just going to type a.start and it will send you a direct message up here so you just want to click on that direct message and it will pop up something like this and once you get your bot over here you just want to copy this exact name and you're gonna go back into fortnite and if you're on a console or something just type it in with the keypad on console and we're just going to go back into fortnite and do that so we're going to have friends we're just gonna type this in and then press enter and then we're just going to add friend so it should look like something like this and you're just going to click on accept and that will let the bot know that you are the owner of the bot and that you will be the one controlling it for now so you're just going to click on it and you're going to click on invite to party then you go back into here and click on accept and this is if you want no one else to be able to join your party so now that you have the bot in the party there's many different commands that you can do the first command that i like to do is usually to do hide so you just want to type hide and you have to make the bot party leader first then you have to type hide and this will make it look like you are actually the bot so now that we only have the bot in our screen we can go ahead and start doing all the commands so the first thing that you want to do is you want to set some sort of skin and then we'll be doing the variants right after that so one of the most common skins for variants is going to be the carbide skin and that's from season four and it has like i think eight different variants that you can choose from so we're going to be using that for now so you want to type in set skin carbide and that will set the outfit to carbide and then once you've done that you just want to you can see that it is carbide but if you want to set all the variants the first thing you want to do is type in variants carbide and that will show all of the variants so over here we have stage 0 stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 4 and 5 and they have the emissive versions of the skins so this is where a lot of people get confused so once you've done this you just want to type in this exact command that I'm telling you so you're gonna type in set variant outfit and then you're going to type in either the progressive or emissive skin so these skins will have different categories and this one has both progressive and emissive most skins will just have progressive but since this one had two different types of styles that you can use it has both of them so after you've typed this you want to type in which category you want you can do one or you can do both of the categories so i'm just going to type in progressive and then you're going to type in either zero through five for the different stages so I'm going to choose five and then you're going to type in emissive as the category and then you're going to choose one of these for the color and I'm going to choose green so we're just going to go with two and then once you've done that it will change it and you will have the stage five green carbide. So now I'm just going to show you guys the exact same variant thing with the new superhero skins which a lot of you guys have been asking us about in your tickets in our server. So we want to, I'm going to use the hunter hero skin. So we're going to go with hunter. And then you guys can see that we have the hunter skin up on the screen. And these skins have a lot of variants with them. So we're just going to do variants. And this will list the variants of hunter. And you guys can see there is a ton of stuff. There's four whole categories for this. 
or there's even more than four there's a lot of different categories so for this one we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna type in set variant outfit and then after that we're gonna choose the categories that we want to change so we're gonna change the hair we're gonna go with hair one or we can go with hair four Sorry, I spelled that wrong. So we're gonna go with hair three. And then we're gonna go with the emissive. We can turn it on. And then, or we can just, it should be two for on. And then after that, we're gonna go down here to pattern. And we're gonna type in pattern. And we're gonna change the pattern to, we can do three. And then we can make the material. We can make the material plastic, so we'll do two. And then we'll do jersey color. And we're gonna make this one, we can make this one three. And then mesh on, which will be zero. And then we'll do particle. And that one will be two. And now we just set it to the hair three, emissive two, pattern three, material two, and so on. So when we go back, we will have changed the superhero. So that is basically what it does for the superheroes. And I'll be showing you guys it with one more just as an example. So another skin that we got this season was the menace skin. So we're gonna go to set skin. And this one actually has quite a few variants. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna do the menace. And it will set the skin to the menace as you guys can see we have the menace right there and then we're gonna do variance menace and we can see that we have the progressive material in parts so we're gonna be choosing um some variants for this so we do set variant outfit and then we're gonna type progressive and we're gonna choose the flame menace. So we're gonna do five. And then we're gonna choose the material. And we're gonna choose, that one can be three, or we can do two for the mask. And then we're gonna do parts. And we're gonna choose number four for the zero point menace. And once we've done that, it will have changed. And you guys can see we have the zero point as the sort of like skin, cause it's all purple and we have all the other things that we specified in here. So now it's time to show the unreleased skins. And you can also use these variants on the unreleased skins. I just won't be showing them in this video, but you can try them out yourself. And we're gonna use this website as it's probably the best website for unreleased skins as of right now. And I'll put this link in the description so that you can get any unreleased skin that you want. So we have a few skins. A few of these have already been released but a few of them actually have not been released yet, as like these guys might not have been released yet. I'm not exactly sure um, specifically which ones are unreleased, but some of these might be. So we can do a few skins, like I'm not sure if the green arrow is released yet, but I'm pretty sure he has already released, but we're gonna do him anyway. So we're gonna go back to Ariel, and we're gonna do set outfit, set skin, green arrow, and we'll get the green arrow right over here and now we can check out if he has any variants so you can do variants green arrow and he does not have any variants at all he just has the description and id so if it shows like that he does not have any variants at all so now it's time to move on to emotes so you can do the set emote command is the command that you want to use for emotes so the emotes can sometimes get confusing because some people type in something and it shows them a different emote. So I'm going to be using IDs for these emotes just so we don't mess up anything. So if you want the IDs for these emotes, you're going to have to go to a website. So the best website to find these IDs on is going to be fortniteskins.net. I'll put this link in the description as well. So to find the IDs for these skins and emotes, you want to come down here and you want to type in whatever you want, whatever skin or emote is that you want specifically. So a lot of people have been getting windmill floss instead of floss. So if you want to get the exact um, floss emote, you're going to type in floss right here. And then you're just going to click on the floss emote. And then you just got to scroll down a little bit. 
and right over here next to the ID it'll show the EID for the emotes so you just want to copy that and then go into here and then paste it in and this will give you the exact emote for floss so now let's show the emote floss and we have our character dancing to the floss so we can also do some other emotes in here so we can even do some of these unreleased emotes so we can do the skipper and all you have to do is go in here skipper and it's not in here yet so what we're going to do is go back into Arial, and we're going to do set emote skipper and yeah there will not be any eids for any unreleased skins or emotes because they don't exist yet. they don't exist yet so there you go we have the skipper unreleased emote and it's pretty cool so now it's time for the levels so to get a level you're going to do set banner season underscore level and then you're going to type in the level that you want so if we want level 100 we can just type in level 100 and you will see that this has changed to 100 from a thousand something that was before so finally we're going, to be going over the back blings of this bot so if you want the uplink backpack you just do set backpack uplink and this is an old backpack from season five just came off the top of my head and you can see that we have the backpack right on his back and you can just do any backpack that you want and the final commands that i'll be showing is the commands that make it look like it is ready in your lobby so if you want to make it look like it's ready you just want to type in ready and that will make it appear that it's ready and once he's ready you can just do unready as well just to make him look like he's unready and there you go he's back at the not ready position so the final thing I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to make a custom status and how to change the platform of the bot. So the first thing you want to do is set status for the status. And we're just going to type in the status as subscribe and that will just change status to subscribe. And you won't be able to see this while he's inside of your party. You will only be able to see it once you're looking at him in the list. So the next thing that you can do is set platform and this is where you can change the platform to anything you want. So currently he is on the PC platform. So if you want to change him to the PS4 platform or the Xbox platform, um, you can just type in Xbox and that will change his platform to Xbox. And he just left the party. I'm going to invite him one more time. And there you go. You can see he is subscribed now. And he just left because of inactivity on my part. So if you just click on accept again, he's back in the party. And you guys can see if I make him party leader and do hide again, that he has the Xbox symbol up there. And if you want to unhide the bot or restart it, you can just do unhide and that'll show everyone again. And you can always restart the bot if you want to reset it. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like if you have not already and subscribe as we are super close to 40,000 subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next video.